Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress, where I am delighted to be joined by Gaddy Solotraveski, head of data engineering, Gen AI and ML, along with Gail Schreiber, head of marketing at Amdocs Data Intelligence. Such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Thank you for having us. Gaddy, we're currently at Mobile World Congress where the buzz remains all around Gen AI. What are you hearing and what impact do you see this technology having across the telecom space? So first, everybody's speaking about it, not just speaking about it, everybody's starting to investigate it to do POCs on that, to see what is the value that you can get. They are soon will move into production in many of these use cases. One very important factor is to understand the limits of Gen AI. You know, something that one year ago, if you ask a computer a question and you got the wrong answer, you would say something is completely wrong. These days we use ChatGPT, we use Gemini, we use other pro, uh, models. We see that we get wrong answers and we are okay with it. But certainly, if a customer asks a telco and get an answer from the Gen AI telco, getting the wrong answer will be terrible. So we need to build a lot of around these LLMs to ensure that the customers get really the right answer. And this is something that we will see more and more in the next year. Gadi, thank you for that perspective. I want to stay with current events. Gail, you recently released your research around the Gen AI revolution, what were some of the key takeaways? The investment is around fine tuning and around data architecture, but basically the, where there the challenges are, so more than 80% of them said that the, the, the key challenge is around uh, LLM based integration with their business processes, with their internal systems, with their workflows. They understand that this kind of integration will make the most transfer, transformative effect on their ability to implement use cases. Like uh, more than uh, half of them said that this will be the most, the, the, the area that they want to invest the most. So I think this, uh, again, this gap is something that was very prevalent around this uh, uh, research and it has lots of implications. Fascinating, thank you, Gail. At Amdocs, you touch the lives of billions of people every day, enabling a better connected world. How does the data cloud platform help power these insights? Gaddy, we'd love your perspective. Well, I think that moving to the data cloud is really a revolution, but it's not just the data cloud. It's like part of the cooperation that we are doing, taking a data model that started with the TM Forum, the seed, then we enhance it in Amdocs, the LAMD, and then we port it into Snowflake. And by having this foundation, it's not just a storage in the cloud, which is very nice, but it's also a data embarkment that we have and we can work together and port it from customer to customer keeping the same logic replicating use cases with little effort i think that's amazing from our my perspective thank you gaddy and i realized we've covered a lot gail and gaddy but before we go as you both look out on the coming months what's your top priority gaddy let's start with you my top priority is to take this dream of gen ai that was very successful in pocs to make it real. In order to do it, we need to keep all the things, all the parts of the puzzle together to get the right data, to clean the data, to understand the business logic of the company, put everything together, wrap it, and make it work. Thank you so much. And Gail, from your seat. Gen AI is as only as good as the data it can access, understand, and interact with. So all these activities around preparing the data uh, creating this grounding set according to the different units within the organization, creating the uh, uh, differentiation according to authorization levels, mapping the data, uh, enriching it, tagging it. It's, it's vital activities that without that, no Gen AI can, can uh, be implemented uh, success, as, as successful as it can be with data preparation. So for me, this is the first and most important activity. Well, thank you so much for your time and your insights in joining me on Data Cloud Now here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Thank you very much for having us. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for watching.